Hey guys, this is Patrick. I'm the lead editor and producer at LumaForge. And today, Apple had a pretty big Mac event in Brooklyn. But the only thing that we care about is the Mac Mini. Now, while it doesn't have the word Pro attached to it, it might as well. This Mac Mini has up to six cores. It's got up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. It's got integrated graphics, which is not great, but it does also have four Thunderbolt 3 ports. And Blackmagic just released a new Blackmagic eGPU Pro that has up to eight gigs of VRAM on the graphics card. So that means that we've got the ability now to connect up to four of those to a single Mac Mini. So while you're working with integrated graphics out of the box, you can get that eGPU support and get something that's even more powerful than a standard iMac Pro. So something that I'm extremely excited about as part of LumaForge is the fact that you can configure from one gig ethernet to 10 gig ethernet. Previously on the Mac platform, the only machine that was available to do 10 gig ethernet out of the box was the iMac Pro. Now you've got the ability to do 10 gig ethernet from the Mac mini for significantly less money, which means that you can cut through things like 4K raw footage over a network without having to get any sort of expensive hardware. So this is gonna be great for things like a DIT cart in the field, right? Imagine having five or six Mac minis over 10 gig connecting to a jellyfish and doing render farms where you're taking raw footage and making ProRes proxy footage or H.264 footage for use in Premiere or Final Cut or Resolve and doing this all with multiple machines at once, which is gonna be significantly faster than if you were working off of a single iMac Pro or an old Mac Pro. Say you've got seven or eight edit bays, doing an iMac Pro in each of those gets kind of expensive really fast. But now, because you've got a Mac Mini that is powerful enough to chew through 4K RAW, you can put Mac Minis in each of those stations, and if you need more power, you can add an eGPU. And with that eGPU, you know, you could really, in like Resolve, you could do some pretty, pretty heavy damage without having to do an iMac Pro. So the Mac Mini opens up a lot of creative opportunities for people who don't have huge budgets. This is proof that Apple cares both about the pro and the indie filmmaker, right? This is really about empowering creatives. So this thing is a powerhouse for small video teams. We're really excited about the Mac Mini. Tell us what you think in the comments below. We'd love to hear your feedback. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much.